Frugal living is all about finding creative ways to save money. There are many common tips out there, and while they're really helpful, there's more to it than that. That's why we made this video on 10 surprising frugal hacks you haven't tried yet. Number one, cut down on food waste by shopping for produce at farmer's markets. There are so many benefits of shopping at farmer's markets. Firstly, you're supporting local businesses, which is great because you know where your food comes from and who's growing it. Secondly, you're always going to get food cheaper from a farmer's market despite its superior quality. I remember just last summer how little we paid for corn at a farmer's stand and how unbelievably tasty it was. If you're a fan of corn and you haven't tried freshly picked farmer's market corn, then you're missing out. Thirdly, you'll cut down on your own food waste along with your city's food waste. Farmer's market stands can't afford to throw away food as the grocery stores do. Instead, any food that doesn't get used up for whatever reason will either be eaten by the farmers themselves, they'll sell it at a discount price, or they'll throw it into the compost to be used for fertilizer. However, these tips may still be familiar to you, but there's more. Depending on where you live and the farmers working, you can get a food box plan. For example, in my area, you can make a deal with one of the local vendors where you get a box of produce every week at a fantastic price. So not only is it the freshest, but it's also at an amazing price. Number two, use free shipping offers from online retailers. There are several ways that these deals are presented. One of the most common is that after the price of your cart passes a specific amount, you get free shipping. Depending on what you're purchasing and the price you need to break, you can save a significant amount of money this way. For example, let's say you need to be over $100 to get free shipping and you're sitting at $90. The cost of shipping to your area costs about $30. This effectively puts you at $120 before tax. However, if you bring up your amount to $100 by buying a $10 item, then you're essentially saving $20 on your order. Another unique way to use these sales is to sign up for a free trial membership. This is especially useful for stores that you don't plan to shop at very often. For example, your favorite clothing store may offer you a free trial membership where you get a 10% discount on everything you purchase and free shipping. Since it's a free trial, you can sign up and cancel your subscription the day before it puts a payment to your card. And just like that, you've taken advantage of a free shipping offer without having to pay a cent. Number three, buy generic over-the-counter medications. This surprising frugal hack is becoming more common, but what's surprising is the effectiveness of the medications. The next time you need to buy medications, take a second to look at the active ingredients list on the back of the leading brand and store brand. What you'll end up finding is that the active ingredients are exactly the same. What this tells you is that there is really no difference between the two except the price. Bonus tip, this doesn't only apply to medications, but even to certain items. For example, certain off-brand items for things like heating pads, face creams, and food is made in the same way. In the sense that the branded items and the non-branded items are made in the same factory but shipped with different labels, this isn't always the case, but most of the time. Number four, take advantage of cashback offers when shopping online. There are two ways to take advantage of this. Firstly, you can use cashback offers through your credit card. This is the most common way, and it's what many of you probably know. However, make sure you do your research because certain cards may offer excellent cashback rewards for a limited time. If you're good at paying back your credit cards on time, you may even see numbers as big as 5% cash back. Secondly, you can use cash back reward apps or extensions on your browser. The most popular browser extension is Honey, which automatically adds coupons to your cart at any website you shop at. This is a must have if you shop often online. However, cash back and rewards apps can be utilized in pretty amazing ways. For example, using apps like Rakuten or Ibotta, you can really take advantage of major deals with a little bit of planning. For example, try pairing coupons and discounts and adding cash back rewards to items you want to reduce your item price on big time. Number five, cut down on energy cost using power strips. An area that's overlooked when it comes to spending money is our everyday electricity use. Not so much on things like appliances or lights, but when those lights are not in use. This is where power strips come in handy. As you may or may not know, electricity continues to flow into electronics if they're plugged in, regardless of whether they're used or not. This means you're spending money without really needing to. 
but using a power strip not only makes it easy to turn off your electronics at once, but turning the switch off actually stops electricity from coming through, effectively saving you money. Number six, make use of public transport when possible. You've heard it before, biking, running, walking, or local transit, but there are more ways to utilize public transport. For example, talk to your employer to see if they can support transportation costs for you. In the United States, employers can give you tax-free transportation benefits up to a certain limit. This can not only reduce your car costs, but also make public transportation cheaper. Another option is to turn your transportation into a side hustle. I'd consider this an offshoot of public transportation, as you're the one becoming the driver. However, giving a ride to someone through an app like Lyft or Uber, specifically if they're heading in the same direction as you, can dramatically reduce the cost of travel. Number seven, buy secondhand furniture and appliances. This one can be a bit iffy for a lot of people. It can be weird or uncomfortable for some to use furniture that was used by someone they don't know or to use appliances for the same reason. However, the deal you get for many of these is too good to pass up. Not only are the items cheaper, but they're also usually of fantastic quality and will likely last you years, sometimes even longer than newer appliances. Unfortunately, it's becoming more common for appliances and items to break more frequently compared to items built in the past. A great example of this is hand tools. Buying used hand tools, specifically before 1945, has unbelievable quality and will likely continue working well beyond your lifespan for an extremely cheap price. Another example can be kitchen appliances. In my case, I have an old food processor that's lasted for over 20 years and still works great. I've had new food processors that have lasted less than three months despite the ratings and quality. Did you find this tip surprising? If you want to learn more like it, then subscribe to Investors Weekly. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you've learned something and if you are enjoying it. Number eight, use coupons and discounts the right way. It's a nice feeling to see that something you buy regularly is on sale or that you have a coupon to reduce the price. However, there's a way to make the most of this through a little bit of planning. There are three steps when it comes to using coupons and discounts the right way. The first is to collect coupons from all sources, that's store coupons and manufacturer coupons. Second, find items on discount. And thirdly, buy in bulk. The combination of coupons, discounts, and buying in bulk can help you buy items at the best possible price, which is sometimes free or even money back in rare cases. Number nine, shop groceries at ethnic stores. This one may be a surprising one to some of you. Ethnic stores tend to be much cheaper than grocery stores. Plus, you'll often have access to items that you would never normally see in a grocery store. For example, there was an amazing Asian grocer nearby the home where I lived a few years ago. They had the best prices on many cuts of meat, along with fantastic prices on the produce and pantry samples like soy sauce and others, and had access to more spices than I knew existed. If you want to find ethnic stores near you, then the best thing to do is a Google search. It's quite an experience. Did we miss any surprising frugal hacks that you know? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, don't buy pre-shredded cheese. The convenience of pre-shredded cheese is amazing. It's almost so nice that it makes the cheese taste better. But the truth is that the little bit of convenience that comes with pre-shredded cheese costs so much. You may have noticed the difference in prices between pre-shredded cheese and brick so this may not be too surprising to you. However, it may be surprising to see how much the cost adds up over the course of a year, not to mention how easy it is to shred your own cheese. Something I like to do is to only shred the amount of cheese I need for every dish. This makes it so much easier and cheaper in the long run.